Hey there guys, thanks for joining me on episode 3 of my painting nights painting vlog. I haven't done one in a while, mainly because I've just been overrun with work and the kids going back to school and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm going to sit down today, do one, uh, and uh, I'll show you what I've been working on. It's not a lot, i got to admit, uh, especially for myself. Uh, but hopefully you'll enjoy what I've shown you. And also, by doing these vlogs, I'm trying to keep up with them. By doing them, it's kind of motivating me to get finished with the jobs that I'm doing. Because I've got a lot of ideas, lots of things that I want to do. And uh, these vlogs are sort of kind of motivation. So let's go down to the table and uh, we can have a look at what I've painted and show you what I'm working on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's go. Okay. So you're kind of looking at my painting desk at the moment. And obviously, if you're interested in seeing more pictures and stuff, you can go check out my Facebook page. Uh, it's Painting Nights, uh, where I update regularly on things I'm working on and that sort of stuff. So to begin with, for my own personal stuff, I haven't actually done a lot. Uh, I haven't had the time, but you saw in my last episode, I did a Frostgrave Warband, which I was working on with the Romans. Um, I've got uh, my Sellsword Captain put together. Um, Come on, zoom in on him. So obviously you can see he's just base coated, beginning base coated at the moment. But that's what he looks like. Uh, he's going to be quite cool, I think, as the cell sword captain. He's got a shield as well that comes with him. Uh, he's also from War Gods. No, what are they called? Um, Megalith Games. So they're from the game called God Slayer. So he's going to be my cell sword captain. That would be quite cool when I get him going. Uh, then I've been working on a couple of heroes from Dungeon Saga. We've got Roar and the Dwarf and Olaf the Barbarian. And they were. this is not the first time I've painted a couple of these, mind you. But um, I got them done. I've still got to do the basing and a couple of bits and pieces. But basically, they're 95% done. Uh, and also, I painted one of the bone piles. I got the resin upgrade. You know, so I got about 12 of these. But I just wanted to do one just to see how it looks. Once it's painted, um, I painted them in the same sort of color scheme. I did the skeletons and stuff, so they kind of match together. So that that is pretty much everything I painted for myself that belongs to me. Everything else I've been painting has been pretty much um, commissions. So I'm working on a, a big Space Wolf commission at the moment. So I've got 10 of these guys, which are the Wolfen. And they are very interesting models to paint because they are so full of things. I mean, they've got loads of little skulls and teeth and furs and pelts and loads of cool stuff on them. It just takes ages to get together. Uh, I like the way the ice came out. I've done already about five of these. I'll show you another one quickly. I've still got to do the basing, obviously. Um, but I think they come out pretty nicely. Um, so I've got five of these done, and I'm working on the next five over there, as you can see. Uh, and then next on the line for the Space Wolves is this Dreadnought. Uh, for other commissions I've got going, I like to, while I'm doing one thing, move on to the, something else while it's drying or whatever. So I'm doing some more Infinity. This is one of the guard bots um, for Aleph. And I'm doing some Bushido. So this is the Ryu clan, I think it's called. I'm not really familiar with Bushido, I've got to admit. Um, but this will be interesting to paint. I've just base coated him and I'll be highlighting him up as soon as I can. I've just finished the Avengers for um, night models, which I put up on my Facebook profile. Unfortunately, that's been posted away, so you won't get to see that. But I'm also working on some Black Plague characters. So this is one of the wizards. He's just been base coated. So that's some of the stuff that I've got directly on my painting table. And if we come down to the side here, yeah, this is some of the other stuff I'm working on. So there's the Black Plague stuff. The Thrud is one of the special characters, and this is sister, sort of warrior sister. And then these are the rest of the characters all undercoated already. Here's some of the Bushido stuff. Just behind them are two characters from Runebound 3rd Edition board game, which I'm going to paint up and do a video for on my other channel, Gaming Nights. But I wanted to have them painted up before I start that. Uh, down there is the Infinity stuff I'm working on. I've already done the Achilles model. And you can see the last remnants of my Dungeon Saga stuff. And at the back, down here, is the remainder of my Megalith uh, Romans, Stroke, Frostgrave, Necromancer, Warband. 
It's a random Space Wolf I had in my collection, which I was playing around with the testers. Uh, there's a Power Armored Trooper at the back there, which I've just painted up because I could. Uh, he will be part of maybe one of the post-apocalyptic games I get coming out. Over here is a couple of characters for Shadows of Brimstone. Um, over there, this model here, this was interesting. This was a Kickstarter I did for a game called Project Elite. And this is the Kickstarter exclusive Sandman model. Um, I want to try and paint it up and see what I, I can do with this because the original printing of the game was terrible. I mean, the figures were absolutely, absolutely awful. Uh, and they had to retake them back and do them again. Sorry. Sorry for the wobble there, but as you can see, he's not really that much better. But I want to see what I can do with him because there's a ton of figures in that box. And then over there, there's some Mice and Mystics figures as well. So you can see there's quite a lot of variety. Down in the corner there is uh, some dwarfs, various dwarfs, the White Dwarf, um, Gortrix and Felix, and Bugman. So those are some of the stuff I've got coming up. And then I've got more stuff up here, Imperial Assault as always, and in here I've got my um, Devil's Run cars, but I've also ordered from Dark Ops um, the 3D tiles, so that, that's coming soon, and then when i got those tiles going, I'm going to do that and the figures themselves, so that would be quite cool. I put up a battle report um, recently for Devil's Run, where we played through the first campaign game, which was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to playing the second one again. But on the Kickstarter that they're running at the moment, they've got a new faction called the Vikers. And I'm really interested in them. I love the I love Vikings. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, Personal-wise, uh, obviously once I finish Dungeon Saga and my Frostgrave stuff, I need to do some scenery for both of those. And then I've got that sort of hot, basically done. Uh, and then there's a couple other things I want to work in on. Uh, I want to work on a Dragon Rampant and a Lion Rampant Warbands. Uh, I've got the actual figures for them done already. They're all built up and ready to go. It's just when I get around to painting them, I don't know. But there's also a new game uh, from Offspree as well. I think it's called Bane Legions. Is it Bane Legions? Something like that. But it's got basically Romans fighting a Minotaur or something on the cover. I had a quick look in the Wargames Illustrated last month. And it looks a lot of fun, which also means I can use my um, Frostgrave Warband stra stra or Hash, um, Megalith Games, War Gods, and now for that as well. So three three, ga three games with one Warband is awesome, especially when you're considering you don't have a lot of time to paint. Uh, what else? There's so many games I'm thinking about. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it that I've got for the painting table at the moment. Uh, you can't really see anything, so I'm just zooming in here. Um, please show me some pictures on my Facebook page or down here of stuff you guys are working on. Uh, inspiration is what moves this hobby forward, in my opinion. If no one no one does any painting, then that's a kind of a knock-on effect. No one else will do any painting either. I like to have all my stuff painted when I'm playing, but I'm fortunate because I do so much other painting for other people. I don't really tend to get a lot of my stuff done, but I really would like to. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.